Hey guys, what's up? It's Lasty Girl, and today I'm going to watch some gameplay of Mortal Kombat 1 by EGN. Uh, so, I don't know if you guys are on Twitter or like updated with what's going on with uh, Mortal Kombat 1 uh, gameplay and news and stuff. So, the last weekend, uh, still this weekend, uh, the Summer Game Fest was there and people could try out Mortal Kombat 1. So, I've been seeing things, guys, that I'm actually really happy about, and also things that I'm actually like. <laughs> so today I'm gonna share my thoughts while watching the EGN uh, gameplay but from what I've seen right now I'm really really excited for the game I I can't wait I can't three months to go guys yeah three months to go oh it looks so insanely good I really really like it so uh, yeah let's watch it Sub Zero Sonya Blade <laughs> Kano okay so flipping Kano and still, uh, I really hope like if there was Kano in the new era, he would be like not disgusting and gross. But there we go, uh, gross. But I'm really happy about Sonia. But I think she really deserves a base roster. So I'm not sure if she will be since uh, Sub Zero he can be uh, playing as like the base roster, and you can also use him as a cameo. So I'm curious about Sonia. I really hope I really hope she's playable, guys. Not just as a cameo, but also just playable in the base roster. And Kitana, guys, she looks so gorgeous. She looks amazing. I really like this design of her. Also Sub Zero, he looks cool. I really like the knot. And uh, yeah, and I really like the stage, like the selecting a character, guys. That's amazing. So first you're gonna select your first character. Um, they skipped it here. I think later we can see it. And then the Camillo is coming and then you can select uh, one of the Camillos. Since we have how many spots here? Six, eight, 16. Yeah, so there will probably be 16, but I'm curious. So will Sub-Zero also be here? Is he also like one of the Camillos or I don't know. We gotta wait. But Sonya's design, guys, also very gorgeous. I really like the classic uh, outfit. She also has another one that I've seen in a video. Really cool. Really, really cool. Sonya Bl Blade <laughs> Kano. Cage Mansion. This is this is amazing. Living in your sister's shadow wastes your potential. It is my duty and privilege to serve her. How oh, major so the. How amazing is this, guys? She is saying, like, it's a privilege to serve her. So I was thinking Melina is the Kanum, is the Empress. But then in one of the stages, I think you see Sindel behind on the throne. It really looks like Sindel, but it wasn't really, like, clear. And there, next to her, it was Melina. That was clear. But is are they all, like, the Empresses, Kanums, or are they on the same level? I'm really curious about that. But to see this, guys, it really made me emotional. You know how many times I told you guys, I can't wait for the day that Melina and Kitana can go along. Like, how long have I been asking for this? And it happened, guys. We finally get it. I really hope there's no war in between them. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna put some drama into, like, their relationship or anyone else. Um, like, yeah, trying to ruin it or something. Uh, also, Jade was mentioned in one of the intros, but I'm not sure if it's in this video. Okay. Sorry for like stopping it, but like I, I want to talk about everything. <laughs> this, if you're selecting a character, uh, they jump in like the clash system from Injustice 2, like the wager. So they're gonna talk with each other and then you can wager uh, how many uh, of your bars you're going to hand in for more damage or more uh, your health. But here they made it like an animation transitioning into the match, which is super cool. Like normally you have like the loading screen, which is boring, but now you can listen and you have to, you have to check the intro. I don't think you could skip it. <laughs> and I'm a huge fan of that. I know you guys know that I love it, but only two lines is something that I'm like, maybe they have more, but they're just doing like this. So they don't spoil too much of the story. That's really, what I hope, at least three lines, please, 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 Netherrealm. But this, guys, so selecting a character, going into that animation where they are like um, in front of each other into the wager system that we had in Injustice 2, but then there is the interaction with each other and then into the match, into this. Like he's pushing her away and now they're ready with her cameo. Sonia's looking at her like, yo, girly, I'm ready. 
That's cool. That's really, really cool. And creative. Yeah, PlayStation 5, guys, next gen. Round one, fight. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the announcer, but I guess we're getting a lot of different announcers, just like Cooper to Comet 11, that you can select. That's what I hope. It kind of sounds like the classic announcer. Okay, there we go. That combo looks insanely fun, good, amazing, creative. So Sonya is helping her out to uh, throw her ring in between. To, I think... Why was he right there? I don't know. Well, Kitana's movements, guys. Are those feathers? It looks like feathers, right? Wow. And then she can do the air combo. That's cool. She can juggle, so he falls down, he comes up. And then Sonia comes in between. And okay, wait, she's not throwing a ring, she's like pushing him. So she's like the. She can make the combo long, longer and Kitana can continue. That's cool, that's really cool. <laughs> So uh, it, it is confirmed that um, I know a lot of you guys were where is, uh, were asking like about where is the one versus one? Do we always have to uh, play with a cameo? Yeah, we always have to use a cameo with your main character. That's like uh, the mode for like the only mode that we can use in uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, so no one versus one, guys. One with cameo versus one with cameo. I think it's. Like, I understand why they do that, so we're all gonna focus on this and, like, put all of our strength in this, which I can understand. But I was also kind of hoping for a one versus one, but then again, this is something we never really had, like, around these days, like the last uh, MK, yeah, except MK9, with the tag team, which was a bit, yeah, different than uh, this game. So I'm, I'm excited for this. I, I think it's fine. Yeah, we, we're gonna see how it is when the game is out. I think it's gonna be really cool, guys. Don't worry. I really think it's gonna be cool. And really creative and thinking about, okay, who fits with my main character that I'm gonna choose right now? Uh, Sonia, Kano, uh, Jax, uh, Sub-Zero. So yeah, I'm actually really excited for that. And I think it's an amazing mode. And I think that's all, one of the reasons why it took that long, I think, I'm not sure. To test and balance everything. I think that's a challenging, challenging thing, wow. I talk to sometimes. So Kano jumps in and pushes his hand on Sub Zero's head. I've noticed that. <laughs> so there is the bar. So a bar of the cooldown of the Kumeo. And then you can use them whenever it's full. So R1, you have to press. And there's three bars, like the Mortal Kombat X system. But if you want to use your breaker, your Kumeo has to be full. And uh, have a full cooldown. And the three bars should be full. So I'm curious if you can build me the fast. She really looks fancy guys. Damn, I really like the design. <laughs> you cannot have <laughs> She sounds fierce, like more common X Kitana fierce. <laughs> so what I also wanted to say is MK11 Kitana. I was a bit mad if we're talking about juggling with the fence, but it's back, guys. It's back. We get like the Kitana that can juggle and continue with her combos. I, I'm really excited for that. We get that back, Sonia, finally. Whoa! <laughs> you know the booty? <laughs> that That is the string of Sindel's ending, right? Of the back three uh, uh, string. Yeah, I think it is. Back three, four, or something. It starts with a low. Yeah, it is. She took it over. Oh my gosh, Kitana. I learned it from my mom. Yeah, so when you throw. Wait, it's 130 damage? Okay, so when you throw, your Kumio is jumping in and helping. Ah, it gives uh, feedback, I think, with delaying wake up or something. Okay, delay wake up. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you delayed wake up. I really love the stage, guys. Right? No interactables, by the way, I hope. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm really curious what the red thing uh, on him is. Or the fatal. Oh, I've seen this on Twitter. I was like, oh my god. Then we're next level with this. This is amazing. I'm pretty happy about this. Like when you've done the fatality, uh, Yokomiya is jumping in with you and you're doing your moves. Like, hey, teamwork. What's up? Pose. <laughs> Tunnel wings. Yeah, I love, I love. My ancestors that. say they've tangled with yours. Has it occurred to you? Can't you look so flipping handsome, guys? Oh my gosh! And I'm actually like, curious, is he going to be blind here? Like we, from the, you know, the trailer we saw that he can actually see. So I really want to know the story about about that. But he looks insanely good. Oh wow! To ask them why. Hmm. So okay. Jax is here with Genshi. Round one. Fight. So I guess you can use like different intros to them, right? That's what I think. I think you can use uh, different uh, intros. I really hope not. I really hope the gameplay is not louder than my voice, so I have to speak louder in between. Or pause like what I already do. Sub Zero's Ice Clone is back, guys. I'd rather have his Ice Clone back, even though it gave him PTSD and MKX, than the way he was in MK11, which was disgusting with this 50 50 unreactable as a starter. But still, the Ice Clone looks. <laughs> So the fatal blow, that's kind of like the fatal blow x-ray. No, it's the fatal blow. Well, what? No, that's not the fatal blow. It is his fatal blow. Expect the unexpected. Round two. Fight. So now, uh, I wasn't happy when I saw the Fatal Blow is back, but then I think they made it more punishable and gave it like a whole uh, animation, just like Injustice 2, with the, um, what is it called, with the super move. So I guess they made it more punishable and that you can stop it. But I'm curious how it's actually gonna work. Because, yeah, I don't I'm not a fan of the Fatal Blow, even though it saved my matches so many times because of YOLO or Wake Up. Fatal blows. Uh, yeah, but I guess they made it more punishable. That's what I really hope for. So I, uh, I'm curious now, like he used it and if he blocked what would have happened, is it coming back after a while or not? Is it gonna get back into the next round? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Uh, Kenshi has this, uh, that looks like the balanced variation. So variation system isn't gone, it's gone, it's not here. Uh, I'm happy about that, I was ready for something new, which is the Kamiyo. So the Kamiyo is a replacement of the variation system of, yeah, the MK games, the last two, what we kind of used to. So yeah, it was time for something uh, new. He did a punish! This is Fatal Blow and he did a punish. He blocked his Fatal Blow. So Kano is also coming in with his roll. Okay, and Jax with his grab. I heard the slide is faster than Mortal Kombat 11's <laughs> Sub-Zero. <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy about that. But yeah. Why did it took that long? Okay, let me check again. Finish 
I'm not sure why it took that long. Sister Shadow wastes your potential. It is my duty and privilege to serve her. Living Sub Zero. I'm really curious who the bad uh, villain is here. I'm really curious. Sheng? We haven't seen him in like the trailer. Only the first one. She looks gorgeous. Round one. Fight. So, there was also a thing, um, I, it doesn't really look that fast as Mortal Kombat X, it more looks like MK11 if we're talking about like the speed, which I'm fine about, but at least, you know, we get those amazing combo creativity back, like Mortal Kombat X and 9. MK11, it depends who you played, but it was like less creative than the previous games, so I'm happy they brought that back. And the speed looks kind of, nah, just like MK11 level. Even though I have to say, Liu Kang looks faster if you're like comparing him with Kitana. Kitana looks a bit slow. But I guess it's like every character a different kind of speed, I'm not sure. I'm kind of curious of also uh, wave dashing is back or not. It's one of her abilities, right? MK11. I never used that. Like that she did before. Uh, to defend. So she amplified the fence, right? Let me check it. What's the bar? So a breaker costs three bars. Is it that too much? Wait, he's using a trap on the ground that makes you stuck or something? That's new for Sub-Zero, right? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love that one. I will freeze your soul. Round I'm so happy about fight. like the Sonya OG from the older games coming back because I kind of was sick of her in MKX and 11. Like, I know she got older and stuff, but come on. How can you get rid of like some of her moves that yeah really should have been like in the game always been in the game like with the leg splits and um the cartwheel the dive kick yeah okay the dive kick she kind of had in mk11 but i'm glad about this one that it's uh, back and uh yeah and the kiss i'm not sure if that's back like the special move that she had in uh, mk9 not in mkx not in mk11 <laughs> I really want to see those back. Damn. That looks so good. Ay! Wait, 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 wait. So she can... Oh, okay. So if she's getting cornered or someone is zoning or something, she can use her... Uh, I kind of... Like the... What is it called? Of Sonia? Cartwheel, dive kick, no, dive kick is the one that goes from up down. I'm happy about that, that's pretty cool. Like in, uh, I think, what game was that again? She can teleport, MK9, it's been a while guys, sorry. Not MKX, not the MK11. Yeah, that's a move that she was missing out in the last two games, so I'm happy that uh, they gave her that. I guess people that are like really pressuring you in the corner or zoning you, you're trying to be close, but then you have to watch out that the recovery on that move isn't too big, so... <sighs> cool. yeah. This person who's playing with Sub-Zero is really getting him, like understanding him better. Finish her. Finish her. Oh! This is Fantastic. amazing. Yeah. The kiss is back. 
I was I saw that on Twitter, but I forgot. And then it's actually so fun to see that again. Super cool. The okay. war on the okay. underworld is taking innocent lives. Am I to blame for my enemy's wanton violence? So okay, she might be like one of the. Wait, I didn't know Lucan was playable in the in the summer game fest. So that one is so cool. Yeah, I think he looks faster than the other characters, right? So Kenji only has his balanced moves for Mortal Kombat X. No red moves like the possessed. <laughs> Damn. I am the chosen one. Round two. Five. We've noticed. Oh. I'm curious also about the cameos. Uh, there are Kano kinda sent Sonia back. Is it easy to punish the cameos or hit them? So you have to have the cooldown again. Ooh. Oh, then here the grab is 110, and before with Sonia it was 113. What is true? Is he spitting on him? Wait, wait. wait. He's spitting on the ground and then he's laughing. Ew, dude, come on. He should have got red gunned. <laughs> Wow. What is that slow motion? I've noticed that before. Is it like maybe in brutality or something? It's kind of fatal. Oh, it's worth Oh, okay, not fatal, yeah. So you can use your cameo like before with Sonia. You can use your cameo's vitality instead of uh, the character that you're playing. Oh, yeah. This OG one. Cool. Fatality. Liu Kang. cool, 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 cool. Oh, guys, I can't wait to play this game. Oh my gosh. So I'm not sure when the stress test is coming out. I uh, have no idea. And the. Beta was in August or something, right? If you have a uh, premium, I think pre-ordered or something, something like that. It's damn. It looks so cool. It looks really uh, fun. If we're talking also about combo potential, way better than MK11. Kind of like Mortal Kombat X level, maybe even better, guys, since you're using a cameo to jump in to uh, make your combos longer. And there will be a lot of mind games as well. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, also, reading when is your opponent going to use their cameo? And yeah, I really like it. I really like the juggling, and I really like that you can also fight, continue your combos in the air. Kind of like Armageddon, right? It's been a long time. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy about that. It, that looks really cool. Uh, I hope maybe it speed a bit faster. Uh, graphics amazing. I don't know if you guys saw my reaction video. I was like, I'm in shock. I really like the stage. I think it's Johnny's house or something. And I'm really curious if Johnny Cage will be having something with Sonia. <laughs> because those two are <laughs> for each other and Kitana with Lou. I saw a video where Kitana won the round and she backed down. And she told uh, Lu Kang, like, stop staring. So I guess they're gonna have still have those interactions between those two. Oh, I really like them as a couple. Yeah, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited for this game. Wow. It's gonna be so, so fun to... To everything, to clear combos, to think who fits with who. Um, also, like what characters will be coming in the future, and also what characters will be in the base roster and as Camillo. Uh, I really hope for the ones who play main Jack, well, Jacks, <laughs> as Sonia, that they. Uh, I hope for you that they will also be in the base roster since uh, Sub Zero can also be the Camillo. So I'm really curious about uh, yeah the list who are going to be playable as Camillo and in the base roster. 
Melina was playable in um, Summer Game Fest, and yeah, that's a shame because I was really looking forward to her gameplay. But Kitana won, guys, that looks so good. I'm really, really happy that you can juggle with her friend and continue from there. And uh, with the Camillo, even more things with that. And she has some really stylish moves, and it looks like her fan animation also has like feathers, which is super uh, a cool touch. Yeah, they've been putting a lot of like effort in this. You can really tell. And Kitana's design, like her customization, looks insane. I can't wait to see how the customization will be working in this game. I really hope it's gonna be like Injustice 2. I thought that was like way more clear than MK11's uh, system with custom uh, customization and that you also can like wear different kind of hairstyles on different kind of costumes and yeah and not like that thing that you barely see that you can customize it i thought that was like not necessary but yeah i kind of understand why they've done it but more like the bigger things assets of a, a certain character i really hope that you can customize that so guys, that was my uh, thoughts on MK1 gameplay, which is coming out in September. Uh, I'm thinking of going to Vianality. I'm going for sure. I still just have to uh, buy the ticket and also buy the flight ticket. And then, yeah, the first tournament of Mortal Kombat 1, guys, a week la later, two weeks later after the release, right? If you premium, uh, then you get in a week early or something. So yeah, Kenji is back. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Sento. And how does it work? Is he still blind or not? Because he's wearing, yeah, that. <laughs> Some people said bird box. <laughs> wow. And it sucks that Kano is uh, still the Kano that we know. He never changes. And yeah, I can't wait for the lore, the story mode. From the interactions that I've seen, it's going to be insane. Um... Yeah, and Melina and Kitana getting along is my favorite thing ever. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are here. Uh, what do you think of everything that you've seen in the gameplay? Is that something that you've noticed? Is that something that you liked or kind of disliked or hope that they could change it? I don't think this is like the final build. They could still change a lot. Uh, yeah, it's always fun to see how it was and then to see the final product. And uh, I can't wait anymore. Three months to go, guys. We're ready. And uh, hopefully these months more reveals. And uh, hopefully Sindel will be playable. I really hope. Hashtag Sindel for MK1 for Royal Traps. <laughs> Which is a very huge fan of Sindel. Like he's amazing in MK11 with Sindel. And I really hope for you and many other Sindel uh, fans that she will be playable. She has to, right? She's amazing. She was there in the stage behind. Yeah. Let's hope so. Let's let's manifest. Okay, guys. See you next time. And enjoy your day. And bye-bye. Uh, Try to hold my feeling. I don't know what's right. I'll find the best way I think that I might. I know you made it.